and actually just in the past year and a half, 3D's really taken off. But what's kind of cool is it's it's gone from, uh, I would tell people I do 3D and they'd say, why do you do that? In the past year and a half, it's changed into, oh, how do you do that? Okay. Uh, my name is Eric Curlin, and uh, I'm exhibiting uh, what I call 3DIY. It's stereoscopic 3D displays, cameras, and uh, it's all stuff that I've, uh, 3 DIYs, do-it-yourself 3D. So it's all stuff that I've sort of haggled together to shoot 3D. Basically, it's uh, using all off-the-shelf consumer equipment and figuring out ways to make that work. So about eight years ago, it occurred to me that, that uh, technology had sort of reached a point where I could shoot video with, with two cameras and have ways to watch that 3D at home. Um, uh, but I've loved 3D since I was a kid, ever since I, I was like seven years old. And, I uh, looked into a Viewmaster with, with both eyes, saw a 3D image, it's like, oh, I want to make that. It's sort of like, this year the genie's out of the bottle. Every company has 3D TVs and 3D movies here in the theaters. Um, what people aren't really aware of is that there is this, this big uh, indie community that's been making 3D for a long time. Um, uh, one of the things I do, I run a, a 3D film festival in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm the president of the Southern California uh, Stereo Club, it's the LA 3D Club. And uh, uh, they have a booth here too. We, we're, basically we've created a whole 3D village with uh, a whole bunch of 3D exhibits to encourage people to make their own. 